All right, we're gonna go ahead and weld some mild steel with the 200i with easy set, and I'm gonna go through a couple settings with it. So these machines typically run a little hot, which is not a bad thing. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, on 30 thousandths and we're going to go with 20 gauge voltage we're going to start in the middle and we're going to kind of fine tune it now these are going to be settings based on my preferences there will be case by case preferences everybody does not weld the same so you're going to find where you like it the best so first I'm going to utilize my purge function and go ahead and set my flow rate which I have set at 25 Next up, I want to utilize my inch function to actually get rid of the wire that we were welding with earlier. Now we're going to go ahead and weld. So right off the bat, I could tell that it's just way too cold. You can see that it's raised up. Um, not ideal, not what you want to be at. So we're going to go ahead and get, get us where we need to be at. Since we were welding a bit cold, we're going to go ahead and up it to 18 gauge. And that's the great thing about the 200i. It, the easy set is literally just a click away or a button away from where you need to be at when you're welding. Now we're going to go ahead and see where we're at. That's more like it. That's where we needed to be at. You can actually go just a hair hotter, uh, but that's pretty much where you need to be at. The weld we just did was fine, but what we're going to do next is actually show voltage. So we're going to actually go ahead and increase the voltage on this run. And this one I'm going to go uh, and increase it to plus three. So we went ahead and increased it to plus three, which is three volts, indicated here on the outside ring uh, in the actual red. We just welded at positive three volts. Uh, the penetration was a little bit more than I like, uh, but as you notice, there was a wider profile of the bead. It's a decent weld. Now we're gonna go from plus three volts and see the difference between plus three and negative three volts. We just welded at negative three volts. Uh, the bead profile is a lot higher and raised basically from travel speed. Um, you're gonna have less penetration, worse overall look. Now we're gonna go from negative three volts uh, to about my preferred setting, which I usually weld it at plus one volts and see the results. So now we welded at plus one volts. Um, that's gonna be basically where I would be at if I were welding it, but it all depends on travel speed and user preference. Penetration is good uh, depending on what you're welding as far as for sheet metal and stuff like that, you should be 
pretty good. So basically welding is going to be your personal preference as far as how you're going to actually do it. Now you can push, which was what I was doing. I typically will pull um, if I'm doing gun manipulation. But if I'm just running straight stringers, I would normally just be pushing it along. Uh, as far as heat settings, really it's going to go with how fast you move. If it's hotter, you're going to have to move hotter uh, a lot faster. You can move a little slower. You just have to find that real nice balance point. As far as nozzle to workpiece, typically I'm almost as close as I could possibly be without actually doing anything bad. So typically nozzle to workpiece, I'm usually about this distance is where I'm at. Uh, maybe a hair closer, that's usually where you want to be. The further out, you're going to lose gas coverage, and it tends to wander. So, like I said, it, it is all going to be personal preference. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. Once you get that machine dialed in, you'll be well on your way to welding.